Hello everyone, this is the tutorial video for dynamic range minimum queries. We are given an array of n integers and we need to process queue queries. There are two types of queries. The first one will be to update the kth position with you and the second one will be uh, query asking for minimum value in the range a comma b. So for this example, we are given an array of 8 integers and we are asked the second type of query. So the second type of query asks to give the minimum in the range 1 comma 4. So the minimum in the range is 2 and the answer is 2 and then we are asked to update the value at the second position to 3. We update the value at the second position to 3. Now the array becomes 3, 3, 4, 5 right and then we are asked again to give the minimum in the range 1 to 4 and the answer is 3. So okay we are going to use uh, segment trees to solve this problem. I talked about segment trees in the last problem also and we're going to use the code from the uh, last um, problem uh, you can watch it on the channel or I'll leave a link down in the description now let's see let's see what a segment tree looks like first so a segment tree basically divides the this is the same array in the example right so segment tree basically divides the array into power of 2 and keeps a parent element for every every two nodes so we have 3 2 and uh, its parent store the answer for range 1 to 1, 0 to 1 between the 3 and 2 so the answer for uh, minimum of 3 and 2 is 2 similarly the answer for 4 and 5 is stored by stored by his parent as 4 and the answer for 4 to 5 uh, I mean 1 and 1 is stored at the parent this and so on and they also have a parent which will store store the answer for the whole range right so from 0 to 3 0 to 3 and the root node stores the answer for all the elements right so how does this help us to solve problems in a better time complexity because that was the problem right we can do it naively in n star q and that would still work but it would give us time 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 limit uh, exceeded right tle so that's why we need to process these q queries at in a fast in faster time we need to optimize the approach uh, that's why we use segment trees which provides us a time complexity of log of n but how does it provide a time complexity of log of n let's see now let's just consider the update uh, query let's just consider we need to update this position to 3 right if you want to change update this position to 3 the only other elements in the segment tree that will change will be the elements that lie on the path from root till this node right so this 2 will change to 3 because the minimum of 3 and 2 is 3 and 3 is 3 and then the minimum of 3 and 4 is 3 so this will also change to 3 and the minimum of 3 and 1 is 1 so this will not change and that's how we can process the update query in log of n time now what about the uh, range query right uh, the minimum range query get min query so to get the answer for something like uh, 0 to 5 we can add up the answer we get from 0 to 3 right and 4 to 5 and when we combine these answers we take a minimum of these two answers uh, we'll get our complete answer right so let's see uh, let's see how we're going to do that we'll take two uh, let's say three uh, default values one will be l then r and the current node i right what is i here let me explain to you uh, by using this segmentary array so we store segmentary in a array 
uh, you might have studied this in data structures where we store a binary tree in us array so how do we get the child of any node let's say this node if you want the child of six we just go to uh, we just put six in the formula let me show you we just put six in the formula i star two plus one to get the left choice, left node left child and i star two plus two to get the right child right so to get the answer for uh, to get the child node for six we go to 13 because it's 6 star 2 plus 1 and to get the right right node we go to 14 so that's how we do this and this is what the i is representing also it represents the current node we are at so we'll just call it node right now let's see we keep an l and r uh, l is defaultly set to 0 and r is defaultly set to n minus 1 and i is default set to 0 now we prune the range l to r we get uh, if the answer lies exactly in the range l to r right let's say we have a query let's say we have a query of 0 to 5 and our L and R are uh, defaultly set to 0 to 7 so we know the answer lies between this right we know the answer lies between this but where does the answer lie so we just get the answer from 0 to 3 and combine it with the answer from 0 to 4 I mean 4 to 5 4 to 7 so this 0 to 4 completely lies in the range 0 to 5 so whatever the answer for 0 to 4 3 is uh, will be returned here but 4 to 7 does not completely lie between the range so we divide it further and we go to 4 to 5 and 6 to 7 now 6 to 7 does not lie in the range of 0 to 5 so we discard this answer and we get the answer for 4 to 5 and we return the answer then the minimum of the answer that we get from 0 to 3 and the minimum of the answer we get from 4 to 5 is returned here and we get our final answer right now let's see how we do this in code so i have basically two uh, functions one is the update function where uh, I need to, if I need to update the ith idth position this is the index we are storing and to this value then we take three default parameters and then check if id lies between the range left and right if the id does not lie in the range then we can't update id right so there is no no uh, benefit in going down this path so we just return if lefty is equals to right and it's also equals to the id then we just update the value at the idth position in the node uh, of segment tree right then if it does not lie in this range i mean uh, the it, uh, id is not completely uh, in the range so this will uh, be better explained in the query function and uh, for now let's just say if left not equals to right left is smaller than right right then we take the mid of this and we update the value in the left and the, uh, we update the value in the right and as i explained to you to fetch the value at the at the left we use this formula and then we update the segmentary of node as the minimum of segmentary of left child and left segmentary of right child now to query in this we'll use 
ql and qr as our query functions query parameters and ql is the query left and qr is the query right we have our default left right and node pointer if left to right completely lies within the range ql and qr query left and query right if left and right completely lies in the range ql and qr then we return the current node right because the answer completely lies in the range if it completely does not lie in the range then we return a int max answer so let's just write it as int max right because we don't want the uh, this answer to um, give any wrong outputs and if it partially lies then we get the answer from query of left and query of right and return the minimum of those so yeah, that's how we do this i hope you were able to understand the problem and thank you for watching